On Sunday, Brazil's lower house of Congress uh, voted uh, to, to pass an impeachment process on Dilma Rousseff, Brazil's president, to the Senate. Uh, the vote was stronger than expected. Um, there were 367 uh, congressmen from the 513-seat House uh, against 137 uh, against the motion. So it was a it was a stronger than expected vote, and the the uh, impeachment process will now pass over to the Senate um, for approval. This interim period is is, is quite complicated. Um, what will happen in the next couple of days? The uh, the House will formally transmit the the motion to the Senate. Then the Senate has to uh, debate the idea of accepting it. Uh, an impeachment process for about 10 days um, and then there'll be a, a vote in the Senate to accept the process. Uh, this, this only has to pass by a simple majority um, and it's expected by analysts to pass. At that particular moment when they do pass it, um, President uh, Rousseff will, will be suspended for up to six months and her vice president, Michelle Temer, will take over um, as acting president. This uh, so the, the, the passing of the impeachment in this vote is considered one of the most crucial uh, moments for for the impeachment process, and indeed, um, it marks it possibly marks the, the beginning of the end of 13 years of of power for her Workers' Party, the PT. Um, the PT has, has been has been known over the past 13 years for reducing poverty in Brazil, but over the past uh, five six years, it has been increasingly criticised for its management of the economy. The, the government has also become embroiled in a, in a huge uh, corruption scandal at, at uh, Petrobras, the state-owned oil company. And all of these these matters have contributed to, uh, to a recession which uh, is expected to be the deepest um, in Brazil's history, uh, or at least in the, in the past century. So the significance of this vote is that uh, the opposition is, 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 is potentially capitalising on these weaknesses of the, of, of the Rousseff government and uh, using those to, to, to basically to seize power. That's led President Rousseff to allege that the, this process is a coup. Uh, this is a bit of an exaggeration because the, the, part of the Congress has followed the, the Constitution in minute detail in launching this impeachment process. And an impeachment is essentially a political uh, process. It's a political trial. The, the most likely successor to President Rousseff will be her vice president, Michelle Temer. He uh, was also uh, her main coalition partner until very recently. And his party, the PMDB, has actually led the impeachment process in Congress. So there's, there's been a, a kind of a civil war going on in the government over the past few months. Um, according to the Constitution, Michelle Temer, uh, who's a 75-year-old constitutional lawyer with, with uh, a tremendous experience in the Congress itself. He is the next in line to take power. So unless there's some kind of uh, surprise, um, he will probably be the next president.